So this is a troubleshooting video for Will. He had a question about offsetting this path to make it larger, um, but because the surface is not planar and uh, joins up with other different types of um, surfaces, he was having a hard time splitting it. So I'm gonna see if I can um, help him through that and maybe this will help other people too. So in this model, we have both surfaces, which is what this uh, selected thing is. And then we also have a mesh, an open mesh. So uh, as you've been manipulating these, you might have realized you can't use the same poly surface commands on meshes as you do on surfaces. For now, I'm just going to hide the mesh and focus on the surface. Over here, there's another mesh, which is part of the path that goes up into the topography. So I'm also just gonna turn that off. And I'm gonna take this uh, existing path piece right here, and um, I'm going to explode it because it looks like it's got a few different pieces joined in. So I'm just gonna hit X for explode. Now it says it's uh, exploded into two surfaces. So I'm gonna select the one. Uh, I think that that Will's view is something like this. Um, so you don't really need to split the entire path all the way throughout the entire site. You just need to split it for this view. So um, after I have exploded the surface and uh, it's now just one surface, I'm going to use the border to grab the outline of that. And then I'm going to explode that and just deselect these end pieces so that we have um, two borders that go along the outside of the path. And I'm going to join them back together. So I can ignore that one and I'll just deal with the one on the inside because this is where I want to offset the path to. So the first thing I'll do is flatten the curve so that it's all on the same plane. And I'm going to do that so that I can project it afterwards because I think uh, we can try to offset it the way it is, but it might be a little bit difficult. So let's just try an offset first. And if I offset it and set the um, set the width of the path, I'm going to set it to, let's say, three feet. And just set it off here. It looks like it might have worked, but um, yeah, so let's just see if this actually will split the surface. So then what I'll do is um, make an end piece for each side of this offset. Like that. Make sure I catch the end. And then I'm going to join these together. Then I'm going to project this down to the surface just in case it's not actually sitting on the surface. So I'll select the sur surface that I want to project to and um, I'm just gonna delete the input and go enter. And now we have a what should be a closed, surf uh, closed curve projected down to that surface. So I'm going to select the surface and see if it will split. So it split right away for me. So um, I don't know, uh, Will, if you were trying to maybe do too much of the path and uh, it wasn't it wasn't picking up on um, some of the elements. Um, but I would just, because this is only appearing in part of a view, you don't really need to get worried about like splitting the whole path all the way along the whole surface. If it's only going to be visible in this part of the view, that's where I would uh, use my targeted 3D modeling. So now you could put this onto a different layer, a material layer. Maybe we want to put it on um, a ground layer. We can set that to a different material. And now you have a secondary path within this one. And I'll turn on that other mesh again so that we get the effect. So yeah, because this, um, you don't actually need to split the mesh. So um, you only need to split the surface where it's gonna show up. So for me, this worked. If you are still having trouble, Will, then I'll be happy to jump into a remote session with you um, on Friday if you want, or we can address it later once you've moved to Vancouver. Okay, good luck.